News Channel 8. And we're going to start with a major development in the search for a missing woman in Pasco County. Good evening, I'm Keith Cate. I'm Jennifer Lee. Thank you for joining us. The Pasco County Sheriff's Office says they have made an arrest in the disappearance of Kathleen Moore, who vanished a week ago. However, details will not be released until tonight at 8. Moore's family and friends have been searching for her since November 29th when she told a friend that she was leaving her boyfriend's home in Newport Ritchie. News Channel 8's Jeff Patterson joining us now live from Newport Ritchie with this latest update. Jeff. Good evening. We are expecting an update from Pasco County Sheriff Chris Nako tonight at 8 p.m. to tell us that an arrest has been made in this case. This is the flyer that Kathleen Moore's friends have been putting up around this neighborhood because this is the home of her boyfriend. It's the last place they know that she was last seen. So they've been very concerned about her whereabouts and have been searching for her all weekend long. Friday night. The Pasco County Sheriff's Office searched the home of Kathleen Moore's boyfriend. This is the last place she is known to have been. She left my house at 11.20 that night. Nicole Wallen says Moore is one of her best friends, and she's very worried about her. I knew she had school in the morning, and I knew she had work. And Kathleen does not ever, she would never be at no call, no show at work. This weekend, Moore's friends put up flyers in the area where she was last seen. Friends say Moore's cell phone was found in a dumpster in the area and turned into the sheriff's office. The sheriff's office has now confirmed they have the phone. Kathleen Moore's friends say they've even searched the woods in the area looking for her. Being out here in these woods is very scary. Um, just for the aspect of the female articles that I have found out here. Women's panties, different sizes, um, drugs. Moore's friends insist it's not like her to just vanish. She had her eyes focused on working at the hospital. She was just literally getting her life together and looking towards the future. Of course, we will bring you the update from Sheriff Naka at 8 p.m. to let you know what he has to say about the arrest that's been made in this case. We have not yet been told who they have arrested, but of course, we'll await those details at 8 p.m. I did speak to a manager at the restaurant where Kathleen Moore works today, and her coworkers and friends are very concerned about her. Keith. All right, Jeff, thank you. Uh, live reporting, we'll find out more tonight at 8.